Hi guys, Sandro from Convey of Randomness here and today I'll be showing you how to set up your green screen in OBS. If you're into streaming and content creation and use OBS, do you want to be able to use a green screen setup in order to either remove a plain, boring background of your room, make an audience get a better viewing experience with just you in the shot, or transport yourself to a different background to almost anything you want? In this video, I'll be showing you how to take your live video brought into OBS and the few steps it takes to remove your green screen to get that desired effect that you want. If you want to know how I got the live video feed from my Sony A5000 camera into the computer and as a source on OBS, I will link to that video up there and in the description below. This tutorial will act as the extra steps on from that video. This is the behind the scenes look at this setup with just me sitting at a table with a computer and the iPad acting as my second screen with the green screen behind me. If you want to see my review on the frame that holds up my green screen, I will link to that video in the description. I have two lights, one that shines on me which is the Elgato key light and the other is a softbox light that shines on the green screen to make it as brightly lit as possible so that it's easier to remove the green screen later on in the OBS settings. So let's get over to the computer. From where we left off in the last tutorial right click on the video capture source, mine here is the Sony A5000 camera or you can select filters above the sources and select filters. In the effect filter section press the plus button and select chroma key. Name the chroma key, whatever you want. I'm just going to call it green screen. In the color key type, select green, although you can do this process with a blue, magenta or a custom color screen. Just make sure whatever color screen you're using, you're not wearing the same color as it will try and hide your clothes as well. Have a play out with the different adjustable settings until you find the right balance that makes your background green screen disappear and leaves you just in the picture. Click close when you're done and your changes will be saved. I would recommend doing this as a new scene just in case you want to go back to the original picture and picture look. If you've got a picture or video that you want to embed underneath your camera feed, just uh, add it as a new source from underneath sources, select image as I'm doing here, create new, and then select your file location. Click open and I've just got it as a plain blue background. I want to make sure that the source itself is underneath our camera so it brings the camera image to the top and I'm just going to do all the resizing making sure that my picture fits within the new background color and I'm going to group them so this allows me to move both the background and my camera feed together and now I'm going to add some other images as well. Quickly do this. It's exactly the same process, adjusting the sizes for each of them. And I'm going to select, put them all in as the group. And I'm going to select another picture, acting as if I'm actually at a stadium. And resizing it again. Putting it, making it as part of the group. Now I can actually just switch off the individual ones and have that picture. <laughs> Looks like I'm actually in the stadium. And there we go. You've got your background images to your camera feed. Or nothing at all, just your camera feed. Making things visible and not visible and give you those different background images depending on what your taste is at the time. Now it allows you to capture your gameplay just like this after a few more settings, tweaks and lighting adjustments. This will be my layout. Allowing you to capture those moments of triumph or failure while you're playing. Just like this moment in Minecraft. There you go. By carrying out these steps, hopefully you'll be able to transform or adapt your current setup that may allow you a little bit more flexibility or enable you to experiment a little bit more with your streaming approach. 
Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want. Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one.